Hey, good morning everybody. Day six, uh, starting off like every other day, not doing anything too, too big today. Got some more training, but uh, you'll be heading to work, uh, popping into um, McDonald's, so you should be able to see that. Hopefully we have any more trouble with these guys, but if we do, it might make for some funny footage, so uh, stay tuned. <clears throat> door troubles. I said door troubles. So not much for snow again. See light dusting on top of the car here. But nothing really on the ground. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll jump back in on Rat Nicky D's. Every morning, baby. One. Like yeah. <coughs> Good morning, sir. Good order. Hi, can I get a large orange juice? Yeah. What? Large orange juice? One breakfast burrito. Okay. One grilled cheese. Com complimentary. Newspaper? Yeah, they probably knew I was pissed yesterday. So this is the time. 645, not bad. Right, heading to work. Alright, so we're just heading into work. Gonna do some training and uh, maybe come back in for lunch. See you guys soon. Alright, so we're on lunch break. I'm walking around the work campus trying to kill some time. Not much to do. I usually eat at my desk, but given that it's a classroom. Don't really want to sit in there with a bunch of other people, so I came out, got the trusty iPad to keep me busy, and uh, just walk around. Show you the parking lot. This guy's packed again today, and I'm off tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about any of this. Oh no, today's uh, day is not as bad as I thought it'd be. It's flown well. Uh, again, uh, everything seems to be uh, on pass, so hopefully we're uh, done around three o'clock. <laughs> Uh, jump out of here, go to the gym, get that done, and go home and relax. Like to do some editing on my new iMac. So uh, that's uh, that's it for now. I forgot to mention, man, it's cold out today, more than usual. You guys want to see something cool? It's what these guys use to clean the whole parking lot. You guys have only seen maybe two pieces of the parking lot, but it's big. And way out that way. See if I can zoom into it. A little red box. That's what they use to melt snow. Like it's so much snow out here, they don't know what to do with it. They have to melt it. Try to sell that to someone from back home, eh? All right, so I'm just walking out now. Done my training. Today was a pretty good day. It wasn't as tedious as I thought. Uh, so that's the end of that specific structured training. And now it's gonna be a job specific stuff. As you guys can see, we got some snow out here. And I'll be back shortly. Alright, so another thing I forgot to mention, uh, I do have some other things that uh, need to be taken care of. I'll be heading out to the bank. Gotta pay this stupid bill I got from FedEx. I do buy quite a bit uh, on eBay. Usually USPS I have no problem with. There's usually no charges or duties, and if there is, they're minimal. Uh, FedEx have been sending me a lot of things lately with no uh, with uh, no charges. They're just dropped at the door, which is, is quite strange. Usually these guys uh, they'll bill for everything they can. So a couple days ago, I get this here. I'm not sure if you can see the totals. So that one here says 14 Canadian, and that one is 18 Canadian. They're both from FedEx, and they're for ground services. Uh, again, I don't uh, usually pay everything at the door, but now they always catch you with those surcharges. So those deals that I thought were got, uh, they weren't deals after all, because I ended up having to pay an extra 14 or 20 bucks over here, pretty much. So. Uh, Another thing, if you guys do buy, make sure to specify you want USPS, that's United States Postal Service, not UPS, not FedEx. You get charged every time, there's no way around it. If it's not duties, it's going to be charges for crossing or just delivery charges. So stay away from them and if you're ordering from the States, USPS is your best choice. Alright, 
so we're gonna be picking up gas. I'm not sure if you can see the price there. I can zoom into it afterwards, but uh, it's 106. Uh, next door across the street here, uh, these guys are pushing uh, 113. So it's been uh, three consecutive weeks now. These guys have beaten the price by almost uh, nine cents to doing? six cents. Okay. So we're gonna be filling this guy up. And this happens to be, what is this? Man? Pioneer, I think. Yeah, it's a Pioneer gas station. So we're gonna go fill up and uh, I'll show you the charges. Let's guess. How much gas do you think we're gonna need? I'm driving a Tiburon. Look away while he puts in his pin. So these are the prices 106.9 and 1.124 and 117.9. Can even get diesel. This fucking slow thing, and it just screams every time I press a button. So we're at uh, 4584, and that was uh, 106. Alright, so we're at TD, getting ready to pay some bills. Okay, so we're home, got some snow, and Renee, for some odd reason, now wants to use my new Mac. Something about it being a larger screen or something along those lines. Alright, let's see if we can open it. Better than me close it. Let me get a fucking shot of this here. There we go, look at that. I told you it's the closing. Wake up, bro. Little doggies. Smells like poop in here. Alright, so not much going on. We're going to wrap up the day. I uh, had a little change of plans, a bunch of stuff going at home that I had to take care of before we go out. So uh, we're going to be doing the gym on the weekend instead. So tomorrow's my day off. I'm going to stay home and chill. And uh, Friday, Saturday, Renee will be off as well. So we're going to get back into that routine as of then. So that should give us our five days a week. And uh, we'll start fresh again uh, come Monday. Alright guys, thank you for watching and uh, see you tomorrow.